Good morning. On uh, Thursday, the 6th of August. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I, I turned to my book this morning and uh, right near the back uh, came across this. And again, I will put this at the front of the reflection. It says, just take this step. The horizon will look after itself. Just take this step. Not very many words, four words. And in some of our circumstances through our lives, I'm quite sure we can all honestly say that they'd have been four of the hardest words that we had to hear. Just take this step. <clears throat> and as we try and get back to some degree of the way things were before and we see the news and we realise that it's not going to be straightforward, that we are going to continue to have to live with the virus that has devastated so many around the world. <clears throat> I suppose we might contemplate those words, just take this step. So what is the step that you have to take? What is the step that I have to take? And we do that one, one day at a time, maybe even one hour at a time. I'm currently, along with the council, making plans for us to be able to reopen the church building, as you know, for those who would like to come. And I've spoken to a few people and those words just take this step. For some have felt like the big, biggest step, like a step that they're not sure they want to take. Now, <clears throat> nobody is going to put anybody under any kind of pressure. The church will reopen. The services will be similar, but not the same, of course. And the online services will continue. So we will do everything we can for all of you out there who've been so loyally listening to these reflections and to the services. And I guess what I will say, though, <clears throat> is we had um, a council meeting, a church council meeting in the church building on Monday of this week. First time we've met face to face. And of course, in a lovely big building like that, it's easy to distance. And it's interesting listening to people and hearing the opinions that they've heard from others that I've not spoken to. And there are some who are saying, oh, no, I, if I can't sing, I don't think I really want to go. And then there are others who are saying, Do you know, it will be really good to be back and see people even at a distance. It'll be good to have a focus, the focus for some people that they've had all their lives of a Sunday morning uh, being going to church. And then there are others who've said, do you know, amongst so many other things, what I've longed for during all of this was simply to be able to come into the church building and just be there. And for many of our community, the building holds a mixture of memories, of course, of baptisms, of christenings, of weddings, of funerals, of so many things. And being back in a place where we've had things happen, significant things happen to us, can be a great comfort. So that too, of course, is going to be a factor for some people. But I've had a lovely piece of music this morning uh, being sung by Matt Redman, a very simple piece with a, a mixture of, of images. And just take this step. 
the horizon will look after itself. Just take this step and God's arms will be there holding you. And so next week, the reflection will be on Wednesday morning. And until then, um, I will pray for every one of you. And of course, on Sunday, we will have our Sunday worship. And don't forget those of you who listened in last week that I was looking for pictures, images and facts about water for this Sunday service. God bless.